Hello, my name is Mike Adler. I'm a technical marketing engineer at Enterprise Networking Group. And in this uh, video recording, we will discuss the configurations of the Catalyst 9800 series controller. This will be a uh, sort of 101 series of uh, multiple video recordings on the different features. We will start with uh, basic configuration, then go to advanced, and then we'll proceed with some more advanced features and how to configure them on the Catalyst controller. The configurations that we're going to discuss in these recordings are based on the network that is set up and configured in a dCloud. Uh, dCloud, as you might know, is a Cisco uh, demo kind of uh, setup that uh, anyone can uh, set up a session and uh, go in and use it for demonstration purposes or for the learning purposes. Please know that uh, we're going to start with a day one configuration in these uh, sessions, and all the configurations will be based on iOS XE release 17.3.1. Again, if uh, you're not familiar or you would like to get more information about day zero configuration, please reference this uh, recording uh, posted on the YouTube, and it has pretty good detailed explanation about day zero configuration, meaning uh, you just downloaded the image, uh, say OVA image from the uh, CCO, and you have a VM machine, and you do a day zero configuration, just installing, configure, configuring, the VM machine, configure network adapters, configuring uh, VLANs, etc. In in our case, all of this has been preset already. So we're just going to start with day one configuration, where we're actually going to go into configuring uh, wireless features and uh, different parameters. Now, to get started with dCloud, you probably have... Uh, hundred questions, where do I get information and how do I connect it and how do I configure it and how do I set up sessions, etc. Where to find all the details. So to start with, please take it, start with this uh, link as shown here on the screen above. And in that screen, it's uh, you'll find a lot of good information. It's basically information about getting started working with dCloud, how to register, how to set up session, and uh, how to start using dCloud, how to download manuals for specific demos, and how to work with scheduling. Basically, everything that you need to know about uh, dCloud and how to get started, you will find on this page. After you started with uh, dCloud and you went through the process and scheduled your session uh, in the dCloud, you will be giving a specific uh, time for when the session will start and end. Like in our example here, we start showing that starting in July 21st and the session ending on August 6th. So again, you can schedule for immediate start or you can schedule to start on a later day whenever you feel more comfortable after you review manuals, and etc. cetera. Uh, after uh, you get this screen, after logging in, go to the tab My Hub, shown here, and then click on this uh, icon here where it shows View. After clicking View, you will be presented with this next screen. And if you see, if you click this on tab called Resources, the first thing that comes up here is Documentation. And this is really important. Make sure to download this uh, demo guide. In this demo guide, you will find all the details how to specifically configure uh, all these sessions that we're going to discuss in the following steps. So everything is there, all the parameters, everything is documented. So you will have video recording with uh, explanation how to configure them. And also you can reference to the uh, PDF guide. Uh, as you can see also on the screen, uh, you will be presented with the layout of the network that you have set up in the dCloud. You can see there that you have uh, the wireless controller itself, you have ICE server, you have the workstation to which you be able to connect, and you will be given 
uh, all the information, how to connect to that workstation, etc. Also, you see here on the bottom is um, a presentation of the endpoint AP. So basically, there is no access point set up in the D cloud. This is something that you would have to do it on your own. And you would have to take one of the supported access points, uh, Wave 2 or uh, Wave 1 or Wi-Fi 6 access points, and set it up in your home network, which is basically a remote site from uh, this network running in a D cloud. You will have to uh, do some special provisioning for this access point to be able to connect. And to start with, when you connect this access point, you will have to go through some specific setups as far as designated the IP address of the controller in the cloud. And you have to specify uh, the, uh, the name of that controller, that it's your primary controller in order to create the encrypted DTLS tunnel, cap web tunnel between this access point and the controller. Okay, so we talked about the uh, demo guide that you can download from the dCloud once the session is started. If you would like to download the document, maybe even prior to starting the scheduled session, uh, here's a link uh, on the top of this uh, slide where you can actually download the uh, demo guide ahead of time so you have all the information for example specific on how to connect access point from your remote site to the dcloud network it will uh, specifically uh, ha explain how to set up the ip addresses how to set up primary controller and so on and once you set up this uh, access point in your remote site uh, obviously you can connect wireless clients to the device, and we're gonna need those uh, wireless clients to proceed with uh, our sessions. So our sessions divided into these uh, five different uh, sections or scenarios. The first scenario we're gonna discuss in the series is basic WLAN design, how to create WLAN and set up different LAN parameters. Then we're gonna go into detail when configuration with some advanced parameters, advanced configuration. Uh, scenario three would be how to set up eyes for authentication and authorization purposes in a wireless network. Then we're gonna talk a bit about client testing for guest and BYOD, bring your own device. And we're gonna tell you how to set up guest network. And lastly, we'll talk in scenario number five, how to connect and set up Flex Connect APs and uh, setting up uh, them in the remote network. Now going back to the uh, schedule session in um, the cloud, if you click on that detail tab, you will be presented now with the session details. This session details, you'll get information on how to actually log in into the wireless controller that is set up in the cloud. So you will be given here the owner name and session ID. So owner is gonna be actually your login name and session ID is gonna be your password. Once you use these credentials, you'll be able to log in to this uh, uh, wireless controller set up in the cloud. Once you scroll this window down, you'll be given some other information uh, such as the public uh, IP address of the controller in our case, 128.107.222.133, and private address as indicated here, 198.19.11.10. Now, in order to connect to this private address, you need to connect the host uh, to create a VPN session with uh, this host name, dcloud, and um, username as you will be given in your scheduled session and password. When you have this uh, VPN connection uh, set up, then you'll be able to connect to the controller with this IP, private IP address, or without VPN session with a public address. So again, uh, you're connecting to this controller with these IP addresses as indicated below, with the login name and password as you will be given in your scheduled session. So given details and as explained above, 
uh, you log into your controller with the given username and password, and uh, you will be presented with this uh, first login screen. You'll be able to see in the dashboard that uh, you're running a controller release 70.3. And uh, as you can see, we have one access point is actually in uh, download state right now. It's not connected. It's actually connected, but it's still downloading the latest image that's why it's showing it here so i just set up my access point uh, at home at my remote site to the dcloud i i set up the primary uh, controller ip address on the ap it connected to that uh, controller and since my ap had an older image on it it's in the process of upgrading this image and the same thing you can see from the AP. If you go, you go and issue this command, show cap app client config, you'll be able to see that my IP actually is connected to the controller, the IP address as we were given, and uh, it's in the process of uh, downloading a new 17.3 image. Um, another uh, little housekeeping that you would have to do on your controller prior to connecting AP you have to make sure to go to the controller uh, AP settings and make sure that you have configured for country code uh, where your AP is actually located. So in my case, uh, my AP was issued in US uh, and uh, I make sure that I have US is configured as a selectric, selected country code on the controller. This basically is kind of a primary setup of your uh, AP to the controller, and uh, you ready now to start setting up some of the uh, wireless parameters and wireless configuring wireless features in what we call day one configuration. So now we we are ready to start our uh, sections. Our next section is going to be about setting up basic WLAN. Uh, 